The Thompson Retractor is the original table-mounted retractor that outperforms any other retractor system, including the human hand. In general and vascular surgery, the Thompson Retractor offers the following exclusive advantages. Independent adjustment of the extension arms for greater versatility. An infinite number of configurations to conform to the incision and the patient's anatomy instead of a limiting ring or oval. Clip-on joints with handles that attach anywhere to the frame and will not fall off. Quick and easy retractor blade change. Unsurpassed strength and micro-adjustability with crank two handles. Two options for light within the incision. Free refurbishing. Free repairs for life. The quick frame is set up in three quick steps. Attach rail clamp, position the crossbar, secure the extension arms. Attach the Elite 2 rail clamp to the table. The Elite 2 rail clamp is secured to the table rail over the sterile drape on either side of the table without having to break the sterile field. Offset the clamp to ensure maximum accessibility to the operative field. To attach the clamp to the table, the lower jaw is hooked under the table's rail and the top of the rail clamp is turned clockwise to secure the clamp to the rail. Use the dog ears to give additional purchase. If using non-disposable drapes, mount the clamp over a sterile towel to protect the drapes. Mounting the rail clamp over the drapes ensures protection against any stray current from electrical surgical devices by insulating the rail clamp from the OR table. For upper abdominal procedures, secure the clamp just under the patient's arm. Position the crossbar in the rail clamp and above the patient. Insert the crossbar into the rail clamp's universal joint. For upper abdominal procedures, position the crossbar at the patient's nipple line. If elevation of the costal margin is desired, the crossbar should be elevated above the patient's chest. A quick flip of the handle instantly secures the cam joint, locking the crossbar into place. Note that the handle floats and can be positioned in any direction. For additional leverage, Place the cam joint's handle over the arm and grasp the arm while locking the joint. Secure the extension arms to the crossbar. Position the arms just above the horizon of the patient. The height of the arms can be adjusted independently to facilitate retractor placement for towing under, elevating, or pulling down on the margins. Be sure to leave enough room between each arm and the incision for retraction. A quick flip of the handle instantly secures the cam joint, locking the arm in place. Now that the frame is in place, the retractor blades can be positioned. The design of the crossbar and extension arm allow retractors to be mounted directly to either bar. Select the appropriate blade and one-piece joint with handle. Thompson Surgical has over 200 retractor blades in stock for you to choose from. If you can't find the blade you want, please contact us. Thompson Surgical provides custom retractors and frame components per your specifications. While other handle and joint combinations are available, the most up-to-date innovations are the Crank 2 and the Cam 2 clip-on joints with handles. All joints are one piece and include an integral handle with interchangeable tip. Any of Thompson Surgical's 200 blade patterns can be used with these handles. The CAM2 clip-on joint provides exceptional strength and is extremely versatile. To position the clip-on joint, first attach the blade to the handle. With the CAM in the open position, position the blade into the incision, retract, and clip the joint onto the bar. Fine-tune retraction and lock CAM. Open the handle and lift to release. Angling handles are available allowing precise blade positioning for maximum exposure. The angling handle allows adjustment of the blade angle without adjustment to the frame arms. Without any pressure on the blade, rotate the thumb screw to adjust the blade to the desired position. Now for the crank two clip on joint, for micro adjustability and increased leverage, use the crank handle. The ratchet mechanism provides exceptional power and the interchangeable head of the handle is adaptable with all of the interchangeable blades. 
simply attach the retractor blade to the crank two handle and position the blade in the incision. Clip the crank two onto the arm, retract, and lock the cam. Retractors may be adjusted manually or by turning the low profile knob to fine tune retraction. Release the retractors by simultaneously turning the knob and pushing in on the pawl. Angling handles are also available with the crank two handles for even greater versatility. The crank two and cam two clip-on joints provide exceptional strength, exceptional versatility, quick blade change, fewer parts, therefore simpler instrument counts, and lower profile for easy access to the incision. Regardless of which retractor handle combination you choose, you will see that the Thompson Retractor System offers uncompromised positioning of the retractor blades. All blades can be towed under and rotated for exact blade positioning. The quick and easy to use design makes the changing of blades a snap. Any blade may be used. To change retractor blades, relieve the tension on the retractor, press the release button on the interchangeable handle, and remove the current blade. Place the new blade into the incision, attach to the handle, retract, and lock. It's that simple. Note that the swiveling blades allow the retractor handles to be positioned out of the team's way. This feature may be also used to place retractors where there are no framing arms. Furthermore, by swiveling the blade handle off to the side, towing under can be accomplished without having to adjust the lateral arm's height. The Thompson is the only retractor system to offer cam joints that are strong enough to hold retractors in this fashion. Unlike other retractor systems, the Thompson retractor system provides even more precise blade placement. The crossbar and extension arm may be adjusted independently. Have your assistant loosen the extension arm's joint while you simultaneously position the retractor blade and arm. Exact placement can be accomplished this way. Once the blade is in position, lock the frame joint and retractor joint. Notice that the frame has a spring-like flexibility. This is an important function of the frame when attaching blades. The spring tension of the frame can be utilized by compressing it toward the incision while retracting the structure. When desired exposure is obtained, your assistant tightens the universal joint. The spring of the frame holds the blade exactly where you want it. There is one precaution while using the Thompson retractor. On long procedures, the quick-release cam joints allow tension to be relaxed on the retractors periodically to ensure proper blood flow. Prolonged pressure may adversely affect vital structures. The setup demonstrated thus far has been for upper abdominal incisions. Other setup possibilities will now be demonstrated. For a simple basic setup, attach the rail clamp to the table and secure an extension arm to its joint. One or two retractor blades may be added to the arm. This feature is exclusive to the Thompson retractor system. For lower abdominal procedures, mount the rail clamp at the foot of the table. Unobstructed access to the surgical site can be accomplished for large bowel and colon procedures. For rectal procedures, attach the rail clamp to the distal end of the table. The crossbar can then be positioned below the incision to facilitate downward retraction. Lateral arms can conform to the patient's anatomy, providing low-profile lateral exposure. The swivel feature allows a blade to be positioned for elevation, giving the surgeon uncompromised, hands-free exposure. For anterior cervical access, as well as carotid surgery, the frame can be mounted at the head of the table. The crossbar should be positioned above the patient's face and the lateral arms positioned for low-profile lateral retraction. The ability to independently adjust the extension arms can be critical with this access, as the surgeon may have more aggressive retraction on the esophagus and more gentle retraction on the carotid side. Retractor blades are available in radiolucent material. By adding smaller retractors, this frame will accommodate pediatric approaches as well. Minimal access surgery, when the incision is smaller than has traditionally been the case, can be accomplished with the Thompson retractor. Small and modified retractor blades 
are utilized to gain the required exposure and visibility through a small incision. The Thompson Retractor provides exceptional anterior lumbar access. Radiolucent retractor blades are utilized to provide unobstructed exposure and at the same time significantly reduce the potential for vascular, nerve, or ureter damage. The single point fixation to the OR table is strong enough to provide uncompromised exposure on most patients. However, for obese patients or for extreme exposure needs such as bariatric or liver transplants, the bilateral accessory kit can be used to secure the retractor system to the OR table at two points. The second rail clamp is mounted to the opposite side of the table and the hinged crossbar is secured to the rail clamps. The crossbar may be adjusted up and down and extended or retracted from the rail clamp for desired elevation. Once the crossbar is in the desired position, lock the rail clamp joints. The crank two allows optimum exposure and elevation of the costal margins. If lower or lateral retraction is needed, add an extension arm to the second joint on the rail clamp and position the arm. Add retractors as needed. Along with the Thompson Retractor's phenomenal exposure, we offer two options for bringing cool, bright light into the incision for even greater visibility. The Thompson Light Wand is a reusable light that can be attached anywhere on the Thompson frame with its quick-locking clip joint. Light is directed as desired by adjusting the malleable light. The Thompson Illumination Pad, or TIP, is a single-use light that slides over any one-inch wide retractor blade. The retractor blade is then placed, providing both exposure and cool light within the incision. Both the Thompson light wand and the tip eliminate the need for a headlamp and enhance visibility. With the Thompson retractor, the only limitation is your imagination. With proper care and maintenance, the Thompson retractor will provide years of trouble-free service. After each use, clean all components. Ultrasonic cleaning is recommended. However, hand washing with a brush is acceptable. Be certain that all joints are in the full open position for cleaning and autoclaving. During surgery, do not allow blood to dry on components. Lubricate all threaded and cam components before autoclaving with a water-soluble lubricant. Please refer to the manual for sterilizing times and settings. No other retractor system can match the power and versatility of the Thompson Retractor System. From minimum access surgery to maximum access surgery, its unique one frame for all procedures capability saves the hospital thousands of dollars in retractor costs. All Thompson frame components are guaranteed for life against defects in materials or workmanship. For assistance, call 800-227-7543 or visit our website at www.thompsonsurgical.com.